place with the human faces in his hand. Would you disown him for doing that? No. No, I will not disown him. I will wash his arms and then carry him. That is what I call love. I put it to you, Fred, that you don't love your wife deeply enough. It is evident that she loves you, but you don't demonstrate this love in return. May I share three scriptural verses with you? I just hope she will forgive me again. Listen to this. The word of God declares in Colossians chapter 3 verse 19. Husband, love your wife and don't become bitter against them. And if I may ask, Fred, do you still have any bitterness against your wife? The Bible also says in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 the word of God says husbands love your wife as Christ loves the church and gave himself up for it. I ask you again Fred can you give up yourself for Linda? Finally, Ephesians 5.28 also says, So husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. Any man that loves his wife loves himself. I know 
I'll touch you again. I know I've turned my back on you. I know I've disappointed you. I will always love you with all my heart. Lena, please, forgive me. Linda dear, the devil has succeeded in putting cracks in the walls of many marriages. However, only love, understanding and forgiveness can fill these cracks. You have won your honor back. Forgive your husband. Forgive him. Sorry. I have been calling, but you, you would not take my calls. I also made several attempts to reach Linda. Oh, to no avail. I understand. But I have been restless since I left here with the shameful thing that I did. That was why when I received your invitation, I took the very next flight out of Detroit to come and ask for your forgiveness. Please, forgive me. Jacob, please have your seat. Thank you. You know what? What? Tell me. Tell me anything. Jacob, if you had gotten Jesus in your life, you would never have done what you did. My life has been a miserable one, friend. Just look at me. At this age, I have not settled down, and I don't have a family of my own. Rather, I go around with ladies of easy virtue. I am dirty inside and outside. Yes, I agree. If I had gotten Jesus in my life, as you and Linda have, I would not have done what I did. But, what is wrong with me? Am I crazy or something? How could I have done this? to a fellow as good as you. Jacob, it is not yet too late for you to accept that Jesus, if only you want to. Fred, 